guys, you're watching Kate Straight Up and I am Caitlin and today I'm gonna make for you a very easy roasted butternut squash recipe that is perfect for Thanksgiving. It is a little bit healthier, has very few steps and ingredients and you guys are gonna love it. Now we have a ton of Thanksgiving content already on this channel so make sure to check out that as well and there'll be more recipes coming this week also so keep your eyes out for those and let's get started. So we have some diced up butternut squash right here in a bowl and we are going to just add some olive oil. You're going to want to add a good amount of olive oil just because we're going to be slow roasting it for about 40 minutes so I'd say a good amount. You're going to want to just kind of stir that together make sure all of your pieces have a good coating on it and then we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I have a Himalayan pink salt that I love because it has a lot of antioxidants in it but use whatever salt you want and some pepper. If any, at any point you feel like you need a little bit more oil, just go ahead and dump it in and then just stir it up. So there are just a few more ingredients to this roasted butternut squash recipe. Here in this bowl, I have what I like to call a poultry blend. You can actually buy a poultry blend at the store, but it's really easy to whip together. You probably have everything in your spice cabinet. It's just garlic powder, onion powder, some sage, thyme, parsley, and oh, and marjoram. <laughs> Just add that in over your thing. I knew there was one more there. Left my head for a second. And you're going to want to just make sure that it is evenly coated on your butternut squash. Final ingredient, I have one package of a diced up pancetta. You can also use a bacon here if you don't want to use pancetta. Or if you want to keep this a meat-free dish for anybody that doesn't eat meat, you can completely leave this out and you'll still have delicious roasted butternut squash. I told you this was an easy one. After you get it all mixed up, you're gonna lay it out on a sheet pan like this and put it in a 400 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. That's gonna make that butternut squash get nice and soft and roasted. The flavors from the pancetta and the spice is gonna come together and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. And after that 40 to 45 minutes, you have yourself a delicious Thanksgiving side dish that only took a few steps and a few ingredients. You can make this ahead and just give it a quick heat on Thanksgiving so that that's always an option as well. Make sure to check out my other Thanksgiving videos. I have so many on here. There's so many fun recipes dating back years. So check those out and have a happy turkey day. See you next time. Bye-bye.